Good morning. And so we have left Moida, as you know, and we are now in Samalaman Bay. The idea today is we've had our coffee and now fish tacos for brunch. Tacos, burritos, we'll see what we catch, how it goes. See what we catch? Well, we don't know what we're doing. Time, second try, see what you can get. Water's about 10 degrees. 10 degrees or even less than that. So we'll see. So, apologies for the poor audio as ever, good old GoPro 4, back in the water looking for king scallops. As you're about to see, change your plans very quickly. Settling for brown crab. A world where you settle for brown crab? That sounds like a good world. Welcome back to the Inflatable Chef. Amora and I are just back from diving and we are frozen, it's pouring with rain. Everything we have is wet. Our socks are wet going into wet boots. My trousers are wet, it's cold enough that they're steaming as I wear them. My coat is wet through, but as you may have seen earlier, we got crab legs. And so we're camping in the middle of nowhere, so it is what we have is what we have. So we're going to try Thai red curry coconut crab legs. And to any Thai viewers, sassy for example, we're sorry, but this is not authentic. It's missing the vast majority of the ingredients. And so bear with us. So we have chosen, not so much through choice, but through necessity and lack of other options, to go for garlic, banana shallot, ginger, coriander, and add some tomatoes just because they're healthy, they're tasty, and they'll be wasted otherwise. And then we do have some nice Thai red curry paste and then a can of coconut milk.
crush your lemongrass. I'm on a plastic Tupperware box. I'm pretty sure that's not a viable option, so we'll just slice it in half and be done with it. And we're going to cap the video off there for the time being, because uh, this is not how chefs work. I'm not even standing up. Viva la channel! Thai bread, curry, coconut crab, or our version of it, based on what we have. My favorite cooking spray in the pot, an untamable fire, and in with your garlic, ginger, and shallot. I'll just get that sizzling and try and stop this tinfoil blowing away. And I just remember, we know this is not authentic, this is just whatever the hell it is we're making. But we can make it sound exotic. But remember, food is just whatever you like. It's kind of people who say, steak, red wine. If you like white wine, then have white wine. Don't think there is some kind of set in stone rules that you must follow or you're some kind of heathen. That is just called snobbery. In with a little bit more. One Thai red finger chili. Don't know what variety, but that is what the packet said it was. Four spicy peppers. Which probably means it's not spicy. Because normally when it says two to three and it's medium, it might as well be a bell pepper. Next up, I'm just gonna make it up as I go and chuck this lemongrass in just to get it charred a little bit and a little bit fragrant. My fire is still there, that's good. And then it might not be an authentic curry, but we do have mayploy and that's some good stuff. Now, not authentic either potentially, but in with some tomatoes just for some flavour and some vitamin C, maybe. I'm sure my mum would know and tell me off for not knowing where I'm getting my nutrients from. <coughs> Spicy. And then, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then. Whoa, that is what you call coconut milk. We might have to let that down a little bit. We'll probably have to add a bit of water as this cooks, but I'm gonna... these have all been cracked beforehand as well just so all of this flavor gets up in there. And finally, just because we had it, most unconventional, but green ends of spring onions and a little bit of coriander we had. And then we'll top it off with just a bit of lime juice, because why not lime juice? 
Everyone loves lime juice with crab, I think. There we go. That is our campsite version of Thai, co Thai red coconut crab legs. And so here we have it, finally. We started cooking, I think around, I say cooking, started making a fire at about three o'clock, thinking let's get an early one and we can skip cooking in the pitch black. There is a nightmare occurring on the bottom of this pan, which I'm not looking forward to dealing with, but that is life. And I appreciate that Amor took the time to cook this for us. And then here we have it. Bit we're actually excited about. Let's get a tomato in there, just keep it authentic, eh? And there we have it, crab and rice for dinner, all on the fire. If you break the beer, we have trouble on our hands. <laughs> There's no corner shop here just to pop down. Cheers, Cheers love. Mm, that's good. And to be honest, I just want to start off with a bit of rice. My very first thought was, oh, we should have used more finger chilies. Ah, oh, that's spicy. They creep up. <laughs> they creep up on you. Does not want me getting into its inner, inner parts. Very flavorful, though. But my goodness. You know it's a good level of spice when you have to reserve the back of your hand to wipe your nose. <laughs> right. Mop up the blood as I go. Mm. This is the most disgusting way to eat, but when it tastes this good, manners. Well, to heck with manners. <laughs> anyway, this is going to take us a while, so you guys know what it's like eating crab. Add coconut milk and chili paste in it, it's even more enjoyable. See you again. Thanks for watching.